Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find an analysis workflow of interest in DocStore and how to import it into the Terra workspace where you previously imported 1000 genomes data from Gen3 in the first tutorial. We're picking up where we left off in the data section of the workspace you created for the imported data sets. Now, hopefully you recall seeing these various data tables over here on the side. In the first tutorial, you looked at the participants' phenotypic data in the subject table. So this time, let's have a look at the genomic data, which is stored in a table called sequencing. The data that you imported includes the sequencing reads in CRAM format, as well as GVCFs for each sample. And here, I'm reordering the table to find rows that say VCF. Here we go with file names over here that include the extension .g.vcf. GVCF stands for Genomic Variant Call Format. It's an intermediate form of variant calls generated per sample that you can use to do a variant analysis across a cohort through a process called joint genotyping. And this is done with a toolkit called GATK for Genome Analysis Toolkit. And I'm going to show you how to find a joint genotyping workflow in DocStore to try it out on the 1000 Genomes data. So let's head over to the Workflows tab, which is currently empty. In the box that says Find a Workflow over here on the left, click the big plus sign. And that opens a dialog window with a list of popular workflows. Look at the bottom where it says Find Additional Workflows. You see two options. On the right, you see Broad Methods Repository, which is a workflow repository built into Terra. On the left, you see DocStore, which is a separate platform that serves as a repository for containerized tools and workflows. Both repositories contain a lot of really useful workflows created and maintained by a variety of people from different organizations. For the purposes of our tutorial, the biggest difference between them is that the Broad repository is mostly used by people who use Terra, whereas DocStore is used by the bioinformatics community at large, so you can actually expect to find a wider selection of workflows there. There are also a few differences between them that are important for workflow de development, but I'm not going to cover that here. Let's click on the DocStore option. And you'll notice that this takes us to the DocStore website, so we're not in Terra anymore, but don't worry, we'll find our way back. Now, as you can see here on the left, the system automatically selected some filters to have doc stores only show us workflows that are written in the workflow description language called WDL, which we pronounce Whittle because it's easier to say and it rhymes with funny things. So we're looking for a joint genotyping workflow. So let's try typing joint genotyping up here in the search box. Okay, so we get a bunch of results, but that's a bit too much. So we can narrow down the selection and specifically here in the box that says organization, we'll check off the option for GTK workflows, which is a collection of um, workflows that are published by the GTK team. Now that, that still leaves us with several options for uh, joint genotyping. And we are going to want the one that has basic in the name down here at the bottom. So click on that. And this is actually a workflow that we created for this workshop uh, so that we could show you the basic principles uh, involved in joint genotyping, but without having to deal with the complexity of the full pipeline. So this is a simplified version, not best practices, but good for teaching. Now you see the provenance information, including a link to the source files in GitHub version and so on. And if you scroll down a bit, you'll see the workflow documentation, which uh, describes the input requirements, outlines content of the workflow, and um, just tells you what to expect. But for now, you just need to know that the workflow expects a list of GVCF files as its main input, and then it will run joint genotyping with GATK 
to produce a final VCF of variant calls for the whole cohort, which is exactly what we want. You can view the workflow scripts by switching to the files tab up here. So you can inspect the code for the workflow if you're familiar with Whittle, but it's okay if you're not, you don't actually need to interact with this code at all to run it in Terra. You can also get a visual representation of the workflow uh, by clicking the little angle bracket up here, you get the access to the DAG tab which stands for Directed Acyclic Graph. And this shows you the four steps of the workflow. Now, in this case, this particular workflow is entirely linear, so the graph isn't that illuminating compared to just the text documentation. But when you have a more complex workflow with branching points, for example, it can be really helpful to see the visual. Finally, Let's head over to this panel over here that says launch with. You see it lists all these platforms, including Anvil and Terra. And these are all platforms that connect to Doc Store under the hood, which means I just need to click the relevant button to send this workflow to the platform where I want to run it. So we're going to click on Anvil, which will uh, take us back to the Anvil branded side of Terra. But keep in mind that here, regardless of whether you choose Anvil or Terra, you'll have access to all the same resources and functionality. So there's really no wrong decision uh, here between the two. So this takes us to the workflow import page. By default, the system suggests importing the workflow under the same name as it is in DocStore, but you can change that to whatever you want. You'll need to choose whether to create a new workspace or select an existing workspace. At this time, unfortunately, the system does not remember what workspace you were originally coming from. So I am just going to start typing the name of my workspace until the list is narrow enough that I see the one I want. I click on it, I hit import and there it is. The workflow is now in my workspace with a link back to DocStore. Now, even though it says GitHub right here, this is actually a DocStore link. There's also a version toggle right here that allows you to switch the version uh, if there's multiple versions of the same workflow. And what's really convenient is that when the workflow gets updated in GitHub and in DocStore, uh, you can update to the latest version directly from here, you don't need to, uh, you don't have to go through the whole import process again, uh, which is really convenient. So at this point, you have the workflow, it's been imported into your workspace, you can't actually run it yet, because you still need to configure it. Uh, meaning you need to specify what data it should run on, uh, specify some parameters and so on. And that is what we'll cover in the next tutorial.